What's going on everybody? So today what we're going to be covering is how I think about creating interfaces for with role based permissions in Airtable. If you haven't met me before, my name is Ben. I own Optimize IS. We help many different businesses over 100 now. Help them build out Airtable, interfaces, advanced reporting like you might get a glimpse of, as well as other apps that sit on top like Softer or Stacker or many extensions or Pori or other ones. Um, so we're gonna jump right in. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about with role-based interfaces. How this works is Airtable has data, automations, and interfaces. In interfaces, I already have two very basic ones created. There's not much in either of these, but I'm just gonna walk through at a high level how I think about building these. So when you need to enforce different permissions based on your users, maybe you have employees, maybe you have some external vendors, Maybe you have like an owner of a business, maybe you have some managers. Each one of those should have their own interface. Currently in one interface, like if we create a grid interface, whether it's just with a, a custom one with a grid like this, or you create a new page and it's a entire list or a grid, every time you create one of these, you can only set interf interface permissions at that level. So if I, create this list and I want to change who can see what or which fields they can see, it's only at one user group type. And usually you'd have a different email field in, or maybe a different user field in each table for that user type. So as an example, if I went back to the data side and I had customers and I had a user field I could add a user to this one where I can see it and maybe a different user to this one. In the interfaces, when you add, if we added a page here with a list of customers, the permissions are set at this page level. So if I go into the page and I click here, I can say viewers records only. I can only set it here. Within interface two over here, or if we go back to the pages over here, each one of these pages is going to be visible when you share this because you share this at the interface level. So if you want to make a interface that is meant for just your sales reps where they can only see their customers or their transactions or their opportunities, then you want to have an interface called maybe sales reps. And this could be the only interface they get access to and it's built around their user stories is how I would call it. So when they log in, they should see their customers. They should be able to edit certain data so you can enable them to edit things in line and everything is based around them. And then you may have a different interface. So we'd maybe call this one owner where the owner gets a dashboard and they get things that are, maybe they get access to all things, but they also get to filter based on the sales rep uh, or maybe that's maybe better for a manager. So that's how I think about creating role-based permissions and interfaces. If you're going to use this, the most popular use case for this is internal tools or maybe having a few vendors in it. Just because of Airtable's pricing model, it's really geared towards the internal users. But that's how I think about it. If you have any questions or comments, throw them in the comment section on this video. But hope this was helpful. And if you're curious to learn more about the time interval reporting or advanced time interval reporting, like you maybe got a glimpse of here, you can check out the video here in the end screen and it'll take you right there. Have a great day.